Well, a day after Congress Vice President attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi over his style of functioning, the Prime Minister quoted Rajiv Gandhi in his appeal against constant house disruptions. The Prime Minister was addressing the Lok Sabha, replying to the motion of thanks to the President's address. In true statesman style, the Prime Minister reached out to the opposition, asking them to work together for the upliftment of the people and the nation. Even before the start of the budget session, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made several attempts to ensure smooth functioning of Parliament, but still the House saw uproar on various issues. His pain was evident once again as he rose to reply on the motion of thanks on the President's address. He urged the opposition to let Parliament function peacefully and responsibly. The Prime Minister said in the Lok Sabha that the nation is pained at the way Parliament has been functioning in the last few sessions. He also referred to India's first Prime Minister Nehru and his speeches in Parliament, saying that hindering debate in the House is very counterproductive for the nation and parliamentarians. लेकिन सबसे ज्यादा नुकसान सांसदों का होता है उसमें भी विपक्ष के सांसदों का होता है क्योंकि उनको जनता की आवाज उठाने से रोका जाता है Referring to the bills stalled in parliament the prime minister said that even bills brought by the congress are being blocked Whistle blower protection amendment bill जागरूक नागरिकों के अधिकारों की बात कह सके और इसलिए उसको रोकने के पीछे मुझे कोई तर्क नजर नहीं आता है जीएसटी भी हम कल से सुन रहे हैं तो हमारा है ये तो हमारा है ये तो हमारा है ये भी तो आप ही का है जीएसटी बिल आप ही का है और और उसको रोका जा रहा है The Prime Minister also gave some suggestions regarding the proceedings in the house he said on the occasion of International Women's Day on 8th March, only women members should speak in Parliament. The Prime Minister suggested that Parliament could set a time or week in the year when only first-time MPs share their thoughts and ideas to bring a fresh perspective to the proceedings. PM suggested a special discussion on India's role in achieving sustainable development goals. He also asked for debate on matters of social responsibility like water and delay of justice. Prime Minister stressed on the need of accountability by the government, the bureaucracy and the opposition, saying that it is a collective responsibility. This is the need for our executive accountability. This is not the need for us to do this. This is the accountability. If you want to increase the trust, if you want to increase the trust, then you will have to do it. I want to put the government to do it. Towards the end of his speech, the Prime Minister appealed to the opposition to work together with the government for furthering national interest. This government should also be able to improve. This government should also be able to improve. And we will not come without your help. You need to help me. 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 I am new. You are the people who are the people. Come here and meet us with a smile. And do good work and give a good work for the country. In his speech, lasting over one hour, the Prime Minister asked all parties to let Parliament function for the good of the nation, lauding the President's address where he had talked about the importance of debate in Parliament. With Parliament team, Newsnight Desk, DD News.